donuts. What? Mason, not so live. 7.58 a.m. I'm gonna be late for school. What's howling, Lobos? Welcome back to La Mesa Not So Live. Today is Friday, September 25th. We're proud to be back this week to give you a chance to hear the school announcements as well as see some fun segments and interviews that we've been working on. I'm your host, Kira, and I'd like to invite you to please stand and join me in the Pledge of Allegiance. Ready? Begin. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Today is National Comic Day. To celebrate, ASB has decided today will be Superhero vs. Villains Day. Seventh graders are superheroes and eighth graders are villains. You should be wearing capes, hats, and clothing representing the superhero or villain of your choice. Zoom backgrounds will be count will count as points. Let's see who has the best spirit at La Mesa. ASB is also hosting a cooking challenge. It started earlier this week and concludes today when you should submit photos of the food you created to the ASB Instagram. The winner receives a really cool prize. With all this talk about the cool stuff ASB is doing, we thought you should meet the ASB director. He was nice enough to sit down with our reporters and answer a few questions. Check it out. Okay, so um, so for your first question, um, what did you want? Why did you want to be the new ASB director at La Mesa? And what are some activities your class has planned for this semester? Okay, so why did I want to be the new director? Um, I thought it would be cool. I did a lot of stuff with ASB last year, like as a participant. Like if they asked me for help, I went ahead and did it, um, and it was a lot of fun stuff. So. Um, I thought it'd be a cool idea to, if I could be the ASB director, I could help them plan some of the activities um, and I'd be, I'd be active in all of it, you know, instead of just in some of it. Uh, some of the stuff we have coming up, I don't want to give you guys too much information because uh, it's classified, uh, but we do have like, a, we have a talent show coming up. We have some cool spirit days coming up. We have a uh, National Comic Book Day is coming up, so we have some, a Spirit Day related to that. Uh, we have um, a bunch of things. Don't want to give too much away, uh, but that talent show, I, I gave you that one. That, that's, that's one for you. Don't tell anybody. And our second question is, were you a member of ASB when you were in junior high or high school? Um, so I actually wasn't a member of ASB when I was when I was younger. Um, I did have a lot of friends who were in ASB, and uh, it seemed like fun uh, for whatever reason. I don't know. I don't know. I just never got into it. But um, I'm glad to be uh, seeing what the students were doing um, at that time in a, in my perspective now. Okay, and second, and the third question. Um, what are some of the challenges your class faces with distance learning and how have they tried to overcome them and like you as well? Okay, so that's a good question because uh, me as a teacher, I like the class to be talking and I like to make jokes and I like them to make jokes and we make jokes back and back, you know, but with, with distance learning, we can't do that because everybody's on mute and everybody's scared to come off of mute, you know? So sometimes I'll say something and then it's like, really quiet. And I think kids sometimes are, are they're hesitant to be the first one to speak up if they have an idea, just because it's a little bit different, because we're all on like this tiny computer screen. Um, and just uh, another thing too is only having two or two and a half days a week to meet. Sometimes for ASB related stuff that it's hard to plan things ahead when we're only meeting two and a half times as opposed to meeting uh, five times out of the week. And the last question that we're going to ask you is, what are some quantities you discovered in your students as the school years has started? Okay, so some qualities uh, of my students, right? Uh, I've got 
I didn't I didn't get to pick this group. Let me tell you that first of all. Uh, but I'm really happy with the with the group that I receive. I have a lot of hard workers. Uh, people that are taking initiative to do things on their own without being told, which is uh, really important because like I, like I always tell them, it's, it's student government. It's not NABOA government. I don't make the decisions. They make the decisions. So they need to basically come up with the spirit days, the activities. Um, and if I'm lucky, if they do a good job, I can just sit back and relax, put my feet up on the table and they'll handle everything. And, and they're doing a good job of, of taking control now and figuring things out for, uh, for the upcoming months. Okay, thank okay, you. Okay, thank you, Mr. Nabal, for that. Well, I wanna thank you guys. Shout out La Mesa, not so live. Thank you. Thanks guys. Hey Lobos, the Google Classroom that the yearbook staff created has generated some great participation so far. Remember that continued participation throughout the year could win you a free yearbook. Go join our Google Classroom and check out this week's photo assignment. The code to join is O-E-A-R-W-6-W. There's a new club at La Mesa called the Buddy Up Club. This club is for all students to join and make new friends. The club will host Zoom meetings every Wednesday at 1.30 p.m. for 45 minutes to an hour. You can access these on the ASB Google Classroom. What's a new show without a little sports? Here's our sports team with the latest. It's the La Mesa Sports Show. I'm Andrew. I'm Jack. And I'm Matia. Today, we're going to be filling you in on this week's sports. Time for a recap with Jack Storch. Thanks, Andrew. Earlier this week, world number nine, Bryson DeChambeau, won the U.S. Open by six shots. I think this year's Masters is going to be very exciting. Over to basketball. The Lakers and Nuggets are battling it out. I hope the Lakers come out as victors. The Celtics and Heat Conference is also being played. I think the Celtics are going to come out with the win and play the Lakers in the finals. And now for football. The Niners and Giants are playing this Sunday. I think the Niners are going to leave with the win. That's all for me. Now I'll hand it over to Mattia. Today I'll be covering sports news. For basketball, it looks like Game 4 of the Conference Finals was yesterday with the Nuggets and the Lakers playing. That sure was a good game. Time for some football. There was a game yesterday as well with the Dolphins and the Jaguars playing. Now I'll hand it over to Angie with some fun facts. We're going to be ending this show with some fun facts that may or may not surprise you. Fun fact number one. The New York Yankees have won 27 World Series titles. Yeah, you heard that right. 27. They also hold the record for the highest World Series wins in a row with five games. Fun fact number two. In 1962, Walt Chamberlain made the record for the highest number of points scored in a basketball game with 100 points single-handedly. Okay. Fun fact number three. The huddle was first used in the 1890s by quarterback Paul Hubbard, who is deaf. Hubbard was concerned the other team could interpret his hand signals, so he brought his teammates into a round formation to call plays thus creating and making the huddle a widely used strategy in football. Yeah. Now time for the final fun fact. Soccer was played by prisoners at London Newgate's prison in the early 1800s. With their hands cut off for the crimes, they came up with the game only using their feet, thus creating soccer. All Honor Society students that made cards for the Send a Smile Foundation. If you want the school to mail them, then please stop by any time and drop them off in front of the office before 3 p.m. The last day will be Monday, September 28th. Miss Burleson will mail them on Tuesday only, so please do not bring cards after Monday. Otherwise, you can also mail them on your own. The address is, uh, is on the handout in your NJHS Google Classroom. <laughs> in tech history, on September 25th, 1973, Microcomputer machines of Canada introduced their MCM-70 microcomputer at a programmer's user conference in Toronto, possibly the earliest commercially manufactured device that can now be considered a personal computer. The MCM-70 gained customers at companies such as Chevron, Mutual Life Insurance, NASA, and the U.S. Army. The MCM-70 never gained significant market acceptance, and by the time the Apple II and other early personal computers were being released, the MCM-70 was regulated to a footnote in history. 
Today is also the birthday of well-known Jedi Master Mark Hamill. He's 69 years old. Well, that's our show. Thanks for watching. We hope you enjoyed it and we hope to see you back here next week. We here in the video production class care about you and hope you're staying safe and healthy. Have a relaxing weekend. Bye!